Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. You are looking at control flow items and you cannot find execute SQL task. How will you bring it back to the control flow items? So this is uh, the question when um, you you went for the interview and uh, people give you the computer or they ask you verbally. And uh, one time, uh, you know, one of my student he went for interview and they gave him computer and they say, okay, you need to load the file from. Uh, uh, this uh, folder to the SQL server table and uh, this is the computer and go ahead and do it and he was struggling uh, to find a data flow task and data flow task was not there so what they have done uh, let me show you so I have a written a post if you are using SSIS 2005 and 2008 this is how you will remove it and this is uh, how you will bring it back I'm gonna show you first of all once you are in the toolbox you can uh, in SSIS 2005 and 2008 or uh, 2008 R2 uh, we will have a different scenario for SSIS 2012 and 2014 I'm gonna show you after that so once you are in old versions of SSIS and you click on any of the task you have option to delete it so once you delete it it will be removed from the toolbox items once it's removed how you will bring it back the the easiest way is you can click on any of the task and say reset toolbox so that will bring the task back to the default now if uh, you want to take a further look and uh, remove couple, a lot of uh, tasks and uh, such as data flow uh, sorry uh, such as uh, DBA tasks uh, you don't really care about them and you want to remove them from your uh, toolbox list uh, what you can do you can go I, I have SSDT so it's, it will not show you but uh, this is how you will do so you will go to SSIS um, sorry you will go to tools you will get, go to the choose toolbox items and uh, then uh, you will see the control flow items and the data flow items and that's how you can select them in old versions such as 2005 and 2008 so th that's what it is uh, in uh, old version and that's how you will be able to uh, delete and bring it back so if you go for interview and they ask you this question uh, this is pretty easy now in SSIS uh, 2012 and 14 we have SQL Server data tools and if I click on any of the uh, tasks uh, here it, it doesn't give me that option deleting it it has different option it has move to common and uh, move to other task refresh toolbar or reset toolbox defaults so here we have tabs favorite common and uh, others other tasks and we can move uh, these tasks uh, to the these different tabs uh, let me click on the execute process task I can move to the favorites so right now I move this one to favorite I can't really delete it from here so if I wanna click here I can't really delete it so but the best way I can move between them and now if I have moved uh, data flow task to let's say to other task what I want to do if I want to bring it back uh, to the default I have to click anywhere and say reset toolbox defaults so that's what it is gonna do it is going to bring uh, to the original um, task uh, layout so the, in the favorites we have a data flow task and in the, we have execute SQL task and the rest of that will be um, you know in the, some of them are common some of them are in other tasks so if I will go in the tools let's uh, click here somewhere and go to tools and uh, we say choose uh, toolbox items and uh, I was trying to find out if we have a SSIS uh, um, control flow items or data flow items uh, and uh, I can select uh, some of them and just uh, you know uh, remove them or uh, bring it back to the uh, SSIS toolbox but I do not see those uh, control flow or data flow items here in the SSDT but uh, I was able to see in uh, um, bids uh, uh, when I was using old version SSIS uh, 2005 and 2008 so I don't really care uh, though anyways because if the tasks are there why I need to remove them if I don't like them I can always uh, put them to any other tasks and uh, that will just have the clean list of the tasks I use uh, very often and uh, th that's the way I, I, will, I will go with that thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I will see you in next video